Hi, I'm Julie, and we're here today because we are going to surprise Micaiah's family with a new minivan. I started mentoring Micaiah, it was about five years ago. She was five years old, she's 10 now. I've really gotten close to this family over the past five years, and it was back in September that the family had a really tough situation. Here at Grady Hospital in downtown Atlanta, a family of four is recovering after they were caught in a fire inside their Valley View Road home in southeast Atlanta. I spoke with the dad of the children and he says that they are all in stable condition but several are hooked up to breathing tubes. The house caught on fire. The kids were trapped inside the fire. They couldn't get out of the house. There were bars on the windows. Um, firemen did come to the rescue. Micaiah was the first one pulled out and she did not sustain any injuries, but the rest of her family did. Her mom was in a coma for a week and she's okay now. Her sister Damiana also suffered smoke damage and then her younger brothers King and Antonio were both in induced comas for almost two weeks. It's Julie! Oh. Hey, I got a friend of mine here. Two chains. How y'all doing? Oh, <laughs> What's up, dude? Two chains. Two chains. Two chains. No, this ain't the real two chains. <laughs> What's up, Tom? Yo. King is doing good. Uh, he did sustain burns on his arms and his legs, but Antonio really suffered the most. Antonio's the youngest, he's seven years old, he's full of life, uh, but from the lack of oxygen due to the carbon monoxide, he suffered brain damage. Well, you know y'all's story went, you know what I'm saying, it, it affected a lot of people, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Um, it got back to me, and so I've really been using, um, really, you know, God gifted me to try to just give back with, you know, not a lot of strings attached and everything, and so they best explained to me what was going on with the situation with Antonio needing to get his physical therapy and get things handled like that. So I just wanted to come get y'all a free van so y'all can move around and make sure he's straight, you know what I'm saying? So um, there you go, Miss Tammy. Um, it should be another room for y'all to handle your bed. Shout out to you, man. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Since this whole situation happened, it's, it's been a true little struggle with one blessing after another. We lost everything. We lost everything. Um, bad, real bad. A real bad situation. Hospitalized three months. Um, my youngest son, Antonio, see the brain injury in the house fire. And it's been a struggle, you know, getting him back to where he need to be. You know, it struck for him as well because he ain't himself. You know, so it's just, it, you know, we've been taking it one day at a time. It ain't been easy. But we have met some extraordinary people, and y'all being some of them, that have been helping us guide, you know, guide us through the transition. And so, I mean, it's just, it's just awesome, man. It's awesome. You ready to get the rolling? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's how I said, bro. Yeah. Then you ain't got to worry about Makai touching all on you. Oh, yeah, he don't like that? Nah, he don't like all that. He don't like get on his nerves. Hey. I'll get my shit. Da 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 Get that right. <laughs> hit the coin, hey, hit the coin, hey, hey. Oh, look at that. Hey. <laughs> but see, you're doing a video shoot. Come on, come on. Hey. Look at her. She done. Oh, man, man. That's all right, man. Oh, never a dull moment with Micaiah. Well, on the behalf of True Foundation, I hope y'all enjoy this. Um, we just used some of the proceeds from these sweaters that's doing a remarkable job. Um, so the whole dancing that y'all doing, the whole dab thing, we decided to capitalize, of, capitalize off of it um, and take the proceeds and give back. And uh, I appreciate y'all. Y'all got a great spirit. I think my man gonna be playing ball in a out of no time. And y'all got y'all blessings from me, my family, my friends, street executives. TRU, 
and the whole foundation. I appreciate y'all. I just appreciate y'all. Y'all act like I never came. Y'all enjoy y'all day. Thank you, man. It ain't no problem, you know what I'm saying? Considering what we done been through, if you only knew the whole deal of it, it's a, it's a, I mean, it's a blessing. We even here to, I'm even here to tell you what I'm telling you now. It was like, really wasn't a life or death situation. So it from go from that to this, and then it's happened so close to the holiday, man. It's just, it's been overwhelming, but it's been a journey at the same time.